celebrating the accomplishments of our local students, preparing for the next chapter in life. This is a special edition of 17 News at Sunrise, live from the campus of Cal State Bakersfield. Good morning and welcome to this special edition of 17 News at Sunrise, live from Cal State University, Bakersfield, ahead of a very special day. Commencement coming up in just about two and a half hours. Yeah, we are just thrilled to be here. And right now, thousands of students, parents, grandparents, and other family members are uh, getting ready to come here to see us, and of course, see their loved ones walk across the stage and receive their diplomas. And we have been so lucky right now because, <laughs> like, like Kevin said, the weather is just absolutely perfect. Perfect right now. There's a little chill in there. Little chill, little chill. But no rain, and there will be no rain for commencement, so that is a good thing. But you definitely want to grab a jacket if you'll be coming out. Uh, I was uh, just coming through the parking lot not long ago, and there's already a line of people wow. yeah. waiting to get in. So, uh, and they're all kind of bundled up out there. So dry, but a little cool this morning. This uh, this afternoon will warm up nicely. Let's talk about your forecast for today. We're heading into the weekend, and you can see we have a little bit of cloud cover out here, uh, but that. Will clear out as we go throughout today. Still calling for mostly sunny conditions. Now, I want to show you our future cast model the next 18 hours. The one thing we're going to watch carefully, even though this system is exiting the area, is we may see an isolated thunderstorm pop up near the Kern River Valley this afternoon. So we'll be watching for that, but all other areas will be in the clear. 57 degrees in Bakersfield right now. We have a north northwest wind at six miles per hour. And as we take a look at the hour by hour forecast, we're going to start out in the 50s. This afternoon, we'll inch up right near 80 degrees. So it's definitely going to be a warm day. 39 degrees in Tatchby right now. We will start out with some cloud cover and then we'll start to clear things out for you. You can see temperatures start out into the 40s and then 60s throughout the afternoon and mostly sunny. We'll still keep a, a light breeze out there as well. But overall, a beautiful day for Kern County, a beautiful day here in Bakersfield for all the graduates here at Cal State. The yeah. biggest graduation class ever. It's a sea of chairs. Yeah, it is. sea of chairs. They're going to open up the gates in just about 30 minutes here to let people start filing in to watch all their loved ones graduate. It's an exciting day. Yeah, the sea of white chairs that you see behind us, that's not going to stay uh, empty for long no. because it's going to be filling up here pretty soon over the next several hours. Yes. And today, of course, is a celebration of the accomplishments by our local university students, but so many other students are celebrating the end of a school year coming up in this week or next week. Yeah, and of course, we're wanting to honor all students here in Kern County. And next week, thousands of high school students will be walking across the stage to receive their diploma. You know, it is a very incredible uh, time for them because uh, they have done so many years of hard work. And so uh, this uh, turning of the tassel for them is very symbolic, of course. And for one student at Bakersfield High School, not only is he a top student in his class, he is also the CEO of a virtual business. Take a look. Walk down the halls at Bakersfield High School and you'll pass classroom after classroom. But behind this door is something different. These students are managing a virtual business. And at the helm of it all is the CEO, Nick Oestazen. What's so unique about it is it gives us an, an opportunity to see more about what it would take to build something like a company. But on top of running a company, Nick also had to focus on his other subjects. I had to learn some better time management skills in order to get all my homework done and my studying and still be able to complete all of our tasks and our practices for Virtual Enterprise. Nick joined Virtual Enterprise last year. He was in the accounting department before becoming CEO. Now he is learning what it takes to carry that heavy responsibility. It can sometimes be difficult to bring together a group of people who've got different opinions in order to form a cohesive team. His work, along with his teammates, proved to be exceptional. The team returned victorious from the National Virtual Enterprise Championship in New York last month. They focused on finding local food waste by using produce deemed imperfect to craft quality juice products. If, if you don't really believe in what you're doing in this, you're not going to necessarily feel like you want to put in as much of the work. And to be able to do well, you have to be putting in this work. Now, Nick is set to graduate with a set of skills he'll be able to use in the professional world. This shows that we do have a work, um, a work ethic and we are willing to expand what we're, we want to do. So, if we can already be making these virtual companies and competing on, at the national level, there's, um, there's only 
the only direction we're going now is up, so I think it's, it's looking pretty good. And last year, Nick became a U.S. citizen after moving to the United States after uh, coming here from uh, South Africa. And on top of all of his accomplishments, he also won the Earl Warren Cup trophy earlier this year. And he plans to attend UCLA in the fall. He is just, of course, one of many incredible students in uh, the Kern High School District that is, uh, you know, preparing to, uh, you know, go on to that next chapter in their lives. It's really neat to see. That's really exciting. That's a lot of success after oh, just absolutely. moving here absolutely. after a really big life change. Yeah. Um, and I will say that virtual enterprise program is is really cool. If you're a high school student, you still have a high school student, I'd encourage them to check and, that out. And we should also say that uh, this virtual enterprise, uh, of course, at BHS is one of the top in the nations. I mean, they have been taking, mm -hmm. they've been dominating uh, across the nation. But we also have several other schools in the current high school district that also mm -hmm. have a very similar program that are cool. just as uh, just as impressive and there are a lot of high school graduates getting ready to um, walk across the stage next week but one school already started there or already held their commencement Garces Rams kicked things off with their commencement last week at Robobank Convention Center there's a lot of green and white in the building as Garces High celebrated the class of 2019 and seniors turned their tassels toward the future most of the students in the current high school district will graduate next week on May 29th 30th and 31st and we posted a list of of all of those commencements on our website, kget.com. Just click on the hot link icon to find them. A couple busy days uh, ahead of everyone who is, of course, celebrating their loved ones who will be uh, celebrating graduation. Absolutely. Yeah, and of course, uh, it is going to be a very busy morning, whether or not you are going to be coming to CSUB, because if you're planning on attending graduation, or if you're just going to be driving around the area, you should be cautious of some road closures mm -hmm. uh, throughout the area, and of course, leave extra time for wherever you need to be. Bakersfield Police uh, will be assisting with traffic control at several locations around the area and near campus. Stockdale Highway will stay open in both directions, but... Uh, drivers need to expect some delays, but drivers should also be prepared for a closure on Camino Media between Hagen Oaks and Scarlet Oaks Boulevard until graduation is over, and that could be uh, uh, several hours after commencement begins. Overflow event parking will be available in the north parking lot of Edwards Cinema, and of course, there's a lot of information here. We've posted all the details on our website, kget.com. All right, well, still ahead this morning on this special edition of 17 News at Sunrise, Dr. Lynette Zalesny, she'll be celebrating her first commencement as president here at CSUB, and she will join us on set here before she takes the stage for commencement. Yeah, that's coming up after the break. Memorial Day Celathon. Get paid to trade with 8250 Trade Assist Cash on top of your trade in. So if your trade in is worth 6000 that's a total 14250 toward an F 150 XLT. Don't miss it. Now through Memorial Day is the time to save on mattresses at all Earners Z's Please Sleep Centers. Up to $800 savings on America's Best, like Tempur Pedic, Sealy, and Beauty Rest. And 25% off all bedding accessories with any mattress purchase. Get up to 60 months, 0% financing, 100 night trial, plus free same day delivery. So don't miss the sale and the savings through Monday at all Earners Z's Please Sleep Center locations or online at zsplease.com. It's the Memorial Day sales event. Get ready to move to Motor City. We are professional grade, and right now get 0% financing on your choice. Sierra HD, GMC Canyon, or Sierra Half Ton Crew Cab. Available at the Multi Pro Tailgate. California's number one volume Buick GMC dealer. Welcome to the city, Motor City. Kern Schools Federal Credit Union is a proud sponsor of Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Stop by any Kern Schools branch to make a cash or coin donation at one of our CMN hospital canisters. All Money Raised stays right here to benefit local miracle children just like Rylan and Kaysen. Together, we can make miracles happen. Car trouble? Tune in Monday during KGET's 5 p.m. news for Shop Talk with Richard Gautier from G&G Auto Repair. Repair and maintenance tips from Kern County's most trusted auto repair shop. Brought to you by G&G Auto Repair. 
Ford's Memorial Day Celathon, our biggest Celathon of the year. Right now, lease a 2019 Escape or Flex for just $219 a month with only $999 due at signing. Hurry in for the Memorial Day Celathon. This deal won't last forever. 17 Sunrise at the CSUB graduation is brought to you by KGET in partnership with Bakersfield City School District. In an independent study of Kern County residents, EconoWare was voted once again as the number one place people go when they need air conditioning service or repair. If your AC breaks or it's time to replace that old unit, go with number one, the energy store, EconoWare. To all who are graduating this month, we say congratulations. Of course, nothing really says you earned it like a premium steak and gorgeous lobster tail. So if someone asks where you'd like to celebrate this fine occasion, it's easy. You tell them you want Sizzler. And welcome back outside here at the soccer fields at Cal State University Bakersfield ahead of commencement uh, just a few hours. More than 1,700 graduates are going to walk across the stage out here behind us here to receive their diplomas. Yeah, we've got a lot still to cover this morning, but first we're going to send it inside to the KGT studios this morning where 17's Olivia Lavoie has a look at your top stories. Good morning, Olivia. Good morning, guys. It looks beautiful out there already. Well, this morning, Bakersfield police are continuing to investigate a homicide in central Bakersfield. It happened last night on Lewis Puller Drive, just off of 22nd Street. That's on the north side of Mill Creek Park. We have several calls out to Bakersfield police, and we're waiting to get more information. We'll bring you an update as soon as we get one. For now, you can download our 17 News app to get news and weather alerts sent straight to your phone. Meanwhile, Delano police are also investigating a homicide after a farm worker found a woman's body in a vineyard. This all happened around 5.30 last night near County Line Avenue and Road 128. Delano Police Chief Robert Navarez says the body appeared to show some signs of trauma, but it's unclear how she died. Right now, police don't know if she was killed in the vineyard or if her body was dumped there. Investigators were on scene all night looking for evidence. The chief says they're also looking for a car that may have been in the area. There's also no description of that car right now, but Delano P police ask anyone who may have seen something to call them at 721-3377. Now, there is still no sign of McFarland City Manager John Wooner, but the city is taking steps to make sure business operations continue in his absence. Last night, the McFarland City Council officially placed Wooner on a 30-day paid administrative leave. He went missing 10 days ago. Investigators say he was last seen at Hillcrest Cemetery around 5.30 p.m. last Tuesday. Bakersfield Police is investigating his disappearance, which they say was under suspicious circumstances. McFarland Mayor Manuel Cantu says the city is concerned about Wooner, but needed to put him on leave so the city can continue to conduct business in an orderly manner. An Israeli company's plans to build a massive logistical center that would bring new jobs to Kern County is now underway. Supervisor Mike Maggard says Hadco Metal Trading Company is making a $25 million investment to build a 250,000 square foot facility here in Kern County. It'll be built on Wings Way adjacent to Meadows Fields. The company broke ground yesterday and the project is expected to be complete by the end of the third quarter next year. This has been uh, one of our most successful years, uh, especially in the last 10 years when we've had uh, about nine successful projects, 3,500 jobs, that's just direct jobs. The company plans to hire 25 employees who will operate in two shifts carrying metals, materials from suppliers and to transfer stations for distribution. Now we are going to send it back to Alex and Maddie, who are live at CSUB. All right. Thanks so much, Olivia. Coming up this morning on this very special edition of 17 News at Sunrise, nearly 1,700 students are getting ready to walk across the stage behind us. That's right, and some of them are part of the campus paper. We'll hear from some members of the runner staff coming up as they prepare to dive into news.
Honda was named the 2019 Best Overall Brand and Best Value Brand by Kelly Blue Book. So when you buy a Honda, you're getting an amazing vehicle for an amazing value. More amazing than Toyota, Ford, and Subaru. Come into your local dealership today and get a great deal on an amazing Honda. Every day is a sale day at Affordable Furniture on 19th and Baker. The name says it all. Affordable Furniture sells a variety of classic, modern, and traditional furniture. At prices way below the competition, the sales floor is always changing, with new furniture lines arriving every week. If not on the floor, Affordable Furniture can order what you want from the catalog. We offer layaway plans, no interest financing, and accept all major credit cards. Affordable Furniture at 19th and Baker. The name says it all. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire. You're watching 17 News at Sunrise. North Bakersfield Toyota's 50% off sale is back and happening this Memorial Day weekend. 14 Sentra, 50% off, only 3418. 11 Corolla, 40% off, only 4406. 08 Hyundai, 30% off, only 4366. And 09 Scion, 20% off, only 5357. With up to 50% off and over 100 cars to choose from, this is a sale you don't want to miss. North Bakersfield Toyota, Freeway 99 and 7 Standard. Need new kitchen countertops? Bill Ray Tile, Kern County's Tile Superstore, is now exclusively carrying jumbo porcelain tiles. Stop by our showroom today and see why many are saying goodbye to granite and hello to beautiful, durable porcelain countertops. Scratch resistant, stain resistant, and half the price of granite. Plus, we carry the matching coves and trims. With new containers arriving weekly, we carry the latest tile at the absolute best price. Available exclusively at Bill Ray Tile, making tile affordable since 1956. Here at 516 this morning ahead of commencement out at Cal State University Bakersfield. Yeah, we're having a great time out here, and there's uh, of course a lot of people lining up this morning, yeah. getting ready to come in. And some people got in early. Uh, we have a little gopher friend, yeah. and he's uh, walking <laughs> around here uh, by our set, and he's having a good old time. Uh, he's but confused. I think he's, he's scared. He's confused. Yeah, he's a little scared. Uh, but no rain. We promise that, and so no rain nice. as we kick off the morning. Just a little chilly. So if you're going to be heading out, you'll want to mm -hmm. grab a jacket. Mm -hmm. But overall, it's going to be a great day for everybody who's coming out to commencement. The sun is coming up. There's still a few clouds around, but overall it's going to be a great day. Let's get right into the forecast, and you can see we've got 57 degrees out there on the temperature. So not bad, but definitely uh, morning to grab a light jacket. Uh, north northwest wind right now at 6 miles per hour. Here's a look at other temperatures. We've been running into the 50s for the valley. Into the mountains, definitely a little cooler. We've got 39. Well, just switched over. 41 now in Tatchby with 50 out of Lake Isabella. As we take a look at the uh, satellite radar for the region. A lot of that moisture has moved off to the east, uh, but I'm not going to rule out maybe a thunderstorm developing up near the Kern River Valley this afternoon, so we'll have to watch for that. 78 in Sacramento. We'll see the same in Fresno, and then 60s and 70s down to the south, and then we're watching another system developing out of the north, and that will slide our way as we head into tomorrow. So it looks like the uh, showers will continue into the forecast. You can see in our jet stream, there's no major ridge of high pressure that's going to build on in here. So I see no major warm-up in store for us. In terms of the showers tomorrow, I'm thinking after 11 o'clock, uh, we'll start to see those showers move in. And Sunday, it looks pretty wet around the area. And then we'll start to see improvements by the early part of next week. But it's definitely been a May to remember with all the rain and cooler temperatures. And we say that over and over, but it's so true. 79 in Bakersfield for today. We'll look for 76 in Taft, 75 in Maricopa, and then for the mountains in the Kern River Valley. We're looking at 60. 63 in Fraser Park, 64 in Tehachapi, lower 70s into the Kern River Valley, 71 Lake Isabella, 72 in Kernville, and then for the desert today, sunny skies in east wind 10 to 15 and 73 in Mojave. As we take a look at the extended forecast, you can see the chance of rain through early Monday morning and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday next week. We'll start the warm-up by Thursday right at 87. For the mountains also, some weather on the way for the weekend into the early part of Monday, then clearing you out Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We'll rebound back into the 70s 
And then for the Kern River Valley, also lingering shot of showers through Monday morning. And then uh, next week, we uh, are looking at temperatures to be back right near 80 by Thursday. So we're in this small little window, I should say, but uh, you couldn't ask for a better day to have that window for a graduation here at Cal State. Yeah, I was going to say the sun is starting to rise, so you can kind of see the, the sky and pretty much overhead. It is I clear. See the so yeah, the moon beautiful. is out here. It's, and it's now wonderful. that the wind has died down, yes. it actually feels perfect. Yes. I was kind of, I was shivering a little bit in the wind, but um, it feels great right now. Yeah, yeah it was uh, a little day. breezy this morning, but uh, it's going to be perfect. Perfect day for graduation. All right, thanks, Kevin. All right, well, coming up this morning on this very special edition of 17 News at Sunrise, as school lets out for summer, many parents are scrambling to find their kids an opportunity to study. And just stay busy during the summer. The Kern County Library will join us coming up next with what programs they have for kids this summer. It's the premiere of summer's number one show, AGT, followed by the most anticipated new show of the summer, Songland. We're going to pull back the curtains and we're going to show you how music is made. Songwriters are going to be playing me their best and taking their shot. And that song is going to be the next hit. Edge of my seat. This Tuesday on NBC. For three generations, we've kept Bakersfield moving. This May, get a $16,000 dealer discount on 2018 F-150 diesel trucks during the Memorial Day sales event at Jim Burke Ford. After menopause, many women experience changes that can have dramatic effects on the quality of life, including pain during intimacy, dryness, itching, and urinary incontinence. Now there's a procedure that provides long-term relief. The Mona Lisa Touch Laser Treatment is quick, painless, and most patients are seeing results after just one treatment. Don't suffer anymore. Call Dr. Ravinder Jeet Singh today for your free phone consultation. It's okay to talk about it. Singh Family Medical Clinic, 661-365-0022. This is the Durabit of the all-new Chevy Silverado. That is huge. It offers a built-in 120-volt outlet. Wow. Plug that in for me. Oh, holy oh, smoke. Oh, and the all-new Silverado has more trim levels than any other pickup. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. There's something for all of us. It's time to upgrade. Get 0% financing for 72 months on this all-new Silverado, or get a total value of over $9,000 when you finance with GM Financial. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. The Kern County Hispanic Chamber of Commerce presents the 21st Annual Latino Food Festival in Menudo and Pozole Cook-Off Sunday, May 26th at the Kern County Museum. For more information, call 633-5495 or visit kchcc.org. Build your legacy with $1,500 trade assistance on 2019 EcoSport, Escape, Edge, and Explore. That means $5,000 total cash on Edge. Memorial Day deals are at Jim Burke Ford. Welcome back. We're having a great morning out here at CSUB ahead of commencement ceremony. You know, for many students, uh, you know, next week is the end of the school year. And earlier this week, Mary Kay talked to some of our, some actually some of our family members and who are also teachers who talked about the importance of kind of uh, keeping kids active throughout the summer. Yeah, not just active, but I, they, you know, you hate hearing those words. I'm bored. Right. So what can you do? Well, the Kern County Library is offering uh, several different programs and activities to take advantage of. A lot of them are free. Kevin is joining us this morning with someone from the library to tell us more about what's going on over there. Well, Kev? Maddie, I'm Ariel Dyer. She's uh, with the uh, Kern County Library, and we have been talking about things that kids can do uh, over the summer months. You know, we always want to keep those brains active, Ariel, yes. and you guys have a great program in store. Yeah, we do. Um, summer reading starts June 1st. We have, it's all 24 branches of Kern County. Kids can sign up, but adults can sign up too for our summer reading program. We're doing it through an app this year called Beanstack. And we also have a summer lunch program at 14 of our locations. All the in-town branches will be serving free lunch to kids aged 2 to 18 at the library. So the app, so you can go right on your phone and download the app? Yeah, it's Beanstack. It's live now. You search for Kern County Library. You make an account. Um, if you're not an app person, of course, you can come in you can talk to us we can help that's what they're there for and you have a lot of incentives i know we I were do. looking at the table here and you guys yes. are actually going to be giving prizes throughout uh, the summer yes. for reading 
Yes, so kids, if they sign up through Beanstack to read, they read 10 books, they come back to us, they collect their prizes. So they're going to get a book of their choice um, purchased by the Friends of the Kern County Library. There's a couple, these are two of many examples. We have lots. We have chapter books, we have activity books, and then coupons, wall supplies last, um, some of which are on the table. We're, we have Black Angus, we have, we're going to have Kern County Fair tickets, oh, nice. Rama. Yeah. So the main mission here is just to keep kids and parents kind of involved uh, in reading and so that they stay on top of things getting ready for the next school year. Absolutely. We're trying to prevent summer slide, keep them active, keep them learning. And a great thing about the library is it's informal. They can explore, they can learn on their own. We are just there to help them do it. And again, this is going to be at all the branches. This is all the branches. And then every branch besides the lunch, we're all doing programming every day, uh, multiple times a day. You know, Lego clubs, story times. Um, we're going to have bands playing, story, uh, storytelling workshops, songwriting workshops, comedy. Wow. So Lots. there's a little bit of everything for yes. everybody during the summer uh, season. So again, check out the Kern County library and again what was the app called beanstack beanstack a very important app uh, because it all incorporates all of this so beanstack is the app thank, thank you, you so much ariel for joining us this morning thank you and get your read on we'll send it back to you guys all right thanks so much kev well it is before 5 30 and they have officially oh. opened the gate <laughs> for parents and family members to come in and start sitting down. Yeah, there are going to be thousands of people here behind us uh, in just a little bit because more than 1,700 students are graduating today. Again, as we mentioned earlier, that is the largest graduating class in university history. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. And of course, uh, some of those students are communication majors who are gearing up to enter the journalism field. And many of them spend a good chunk of their college career working on The Runner, which is the student newspaper. It's a laboratory class and the students publish a paper every other week. The runner started up in 1975 and countless students, including some of our own KGET staff, have been a part of that team. We caught up with some of the runner staff graduating this semester. Many of them said the runner started out as just another class to them, but they ended up gaining so much more during their time there. I thought, okay, this is cool because you get like real life experience and to be honest, I wasn't really expecting to love it as much as I did. And I don't know, that sounds kind of funny being like a journalism major. But um, I just thought, mm, put in my time, my one semester, that's all that's required, and keep going on. But this is my third semester, and I'm really sad to be leaving because I love it. And if you'd like to hear what else these grads and others had to say about The Runner, you can. We've posted those interviews on our website, KGET.com. Of course, The Runner has a very special place in our hearts because it brings us so many great uh, oh, yeah. employees over at KGET and uh, people throughout the years who've come to us from there. So a lot of great work from there. It is awesome. All right, well, coming up this morning on 17 News at Sunrise, and the Kern High School District says uh, they are saying goodbye to not one, but two great principals this year. That's right, spanning some incredible careers, and Mary-Kate Paquette will join us with a look back on their careers in education after this. starts here. Time to hit the road with a great deal on a new Toyota. And who knows what fun treats you'll find along the way. Like barbecue. Lobster. Beignets. Street tacos. Hmm. What is lengua? It's tongue. Oh. And right now, you can lease a tough new Toyota Tacoma for just $259 a month. Or choose one nine APR for 60 months or a thousand cash back. Get your Toyota today. Toyota. Let's go places. It's time to change your life. It's time to be happy and healthy. Delano Regional Medical Center's Weight Loss and Wellness Program is the local medical center with the one-on-one -on -one personal care and attention you deserve. I had borderline diabetes. I had high blood pressure. I've lost 98 pounds. My energy is through the roof. I can now wear a size 36 pair of pants. There's no hidden fees and most insurance is accepted. Why travel out of town when your first step to weight loss starts here? Call the Bariatric Program at Delano Regional Medical Center today.
Get the best deals on our biggest trucks only during the Bigger Things sales event going on now at Head & Dodge. Featuring 800 pound-feet of maximum diesel torque and a maximum diesel towing capacity of 17,980 pounds. The Ram 2500 4x4 diesel is the bigger truck for bigger jobs. Purchase one now for just $39,995. That's over $13,000 off MSRP. Or take advantage of 0% financing for up to 72 months and drive it home today. Only at Head & Dodge in the Bakersfield Auto Mall. Hi, I'm John Busby. Here's what some of our customers have to say about Team Busby. I've had two buying experiences with Team Busby, and I've just found them to be um, on the ball, meeting our needs, and really going the extra mile. And uh, my son and my daughter-in-law, they purchased a home, their first home. And uh, I recommended John, I recommended Team Busby, and Kim Busby walked them through it just like they were her own children. When you think real estate, think Team Busby. Celebrating the accomplishments of our local students. Preparing for the next chapter in life. This is a special edition of 17 News at Sunrise. Live from the campus of Cal State Bakersfield. Good morning here at 5. Welcome to this special edition of 17 News at Sunrise Live from Cal State University, Bakersfield. I'm Maddie Jansen alongside Alex Fisher and Kevin Charette. And, and Mary Kate's joining us as well. <laughs> yeah, he's, 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 he's joining us. Oh, well, there. Oh, he just snuck in. I'm sorry, Mary Kate. And That's of okay. course, uh, it is after 5.30, which means that the gates are officially open here at Cal State Bakersfield ahead of the commencement ceremony. And already a, a few rows have already filled up. I mean, a lot of people lined up very early this morning. Yeah, I got here about 4.15, and yeah, there was already a line outside the gate. Everybody wants that prime yeah. seat right up front. And especially since they didn't have to worry about any rain. Uh, it's yeah. beautiful out here right now as the sun comes up. Still a little bit of cloud cover, but uh, that will clear out as we continue throughout our day. So really a perfect morning all around for uh, Cal State's graduation. That'll kick off right around 7 o'clock this morning. Let's talk about that forecast overall. And you can see on the uh, satellite and radar, some clouds still hanging around the area. Uh, but no rain, nothing on radar. So that is a good thing. But I do want to point out something on future this is our 18-hour 18, 18 model, and uh, we'll be watching up in the Kern River Valley this afternoon. We may see a thunderstorm develop. 57 in Bakersfield right now with a north-northwest wind at 6, and as we take a look at the day, we are going to warm things up and clear it out. By 3 o'clock, we should be right near 77. 41 in Tehachapi right now with some clouds, and uh, throughout the afternoon, we'll see some clearing, but I think you'll be mostly cloudy at 7 a.m., and then we'll be looking at the 60s this afternoon with just a little bit of a breeze, so still keeping that breeze around, but overall, not a bad day. The chance of rain is coming back into the forecast uh, as we uh, head into tomorrow. We're going to have a lot more on that and uh, we'll be around the grounds and we're going to head on over to the band a little bit later as well. They're always a highlight here at the graduation. Yeah, you've got a busy morning ahead of you too. Hey, it's a fun morning. They all deserve <laughs> all the attention we can give them. All right, It is so and the biggest graduating class ever here for Cal State Bakersfield. 1,708 students will be walking across that stage behind us here in just a little bit. So pretty exciting. But besides those students, thousands of students across Kern are hey. getting ready to graduate. Yeah, and there are two principals in the Kern High School District who are getting ready to say goodbye. And 17's Mary Kate Paquette joins us this morning to look back at their incredible careers. Good morning, Mary Kate. Good morning, that's right. David Reese has been leading the Driller family for the last 20 years at Bakersfield High School. And Terry Bernardin has been the head Viking over at West High for the last five. Next week, both principals will host their last graduations. For the last 20 years, David Reese has been the principal at Bakersfield High School. Next week, he'll hand out his last diploma. It's going to be tough. Uh, a great kid, uh, Tate Turner, is a senior golf president, and he's going to get the last diploma. Reese started his 35-year career in education at his alma mater, Foothill High School, as a history and economics teacher and basketball coach. In 1994, he joined the Drillers as assistant principal, and in 1999, he was promoted to principal. The mentor told me that I had a, an ability to connect with kids, and so um, I always did that in the classroom, and then uh, I could do it at a bigger atmosphere or bigger sphere as an administrator. As principal, Reese accomplished a lot from the renovation of Griffith Field to the refurbishing and landscaping of the iconic water tower at the Kern County Museum and creating an all-school Hall of Fame. But what he's most proud of... Handing out 13,000 diplomas. Um, I think that is uh, 
I mean, that's a small village uh, when you really want to think about it. Reese officially retires on August 2nd, his 61st birthday. I'll be back. Uh, uh, even though I grew up hating the drillers when I was at Foothill, um, once you're here, it sounds trite, but once a driller, always a driller, really does mean something. Down the street, Terry Bernardin is preparing for her retirement after nearly 29 years at West High School, the last five as principal. The most important and the most uh, rewarding thing I've done for this school is to make sure that teachers know how to build relationships with kids so that kids will do everything they can to be smart and go off into the future. Bernardin, a Kern County girl, graduated from Arvin High in 1971 with no intention of becoming an educator. I fought it with everything in me not to be a teacher. Um, I was good at math. Um, I was good at computer programming. I, I was really good at accounting. And I was looking at those worlds, but they weren't satisfying. At 33 years old, she went back to college and graduated from Cal State Bakersfield with her teaching credential. I knew the minute I walked in that classroom, it was the right decision to make. Didn't start teaching until I was 38. She spent 10 years teaching math and was the cheer coach before moving into administration. I was a cheerleader from, from day one. It's, I always was. And it wasn't about, again, being a cheerleader for me. It was about cheering your school on. It was about being proud of what your school did. In 2014, Bernardin was named principal. On June 28th, she'll close her office door for the last time. And what I take with me is thousands and thousands of just wonderful relationships that'll never go away. Bernardin says she's not quite done with education as she's been selected to be on a committee for the Department of Education where she hopes to continue to develop math literacy starting at the kindergarten level. And Mr. Reese, he plans to travel the country with his wife and visit his eight grandchildren who are spread out all over. So, And I had actually, Mr. Reese was yes, my principal when I was at BHS um, and he was such a great principal. He was very involved, very visible. He wasn't one of those principals uh, who, you know, was just in his office and you never really saw him or knew who he was. He was great. And I got to catch up with him a little bit this weekend. Yeah. Um, out at the BHS Alumni Plaza. So you can cool. tell both of these principals have done a lot for their schools, and it, it's yeah. it's not going to be easy for them to leave. But no, yeah, they've done they've done so many uh, great projects through the, for the current high school district. So. An incredible career. Yeah. All right, thanks, Mary Kate. Mm -hmm. And of course, it is graduation season, and we've been asking you at home all week long to send us pictures of your grad cats. Yeah, let's take a look at some of those pictures of people. Uh, what people have been sending us, they are so creative. Yeah. I never did this when I graduated. I, I totally either, missed no. out. But take a look. We've got some really cool ones. People decorate them with pictures, with their favorite quotes, just with funny characters. They get so creative. You know, and it's always neat because you see, uh, you know, not only college graduates, but sometimes even high school. So we even got a few preschoolers uh, who are uh, <laughs> sending us pictures. So a lot of creative grad caps, and it's really neat to see how they kind of progress and become more elaborate as yes. the years go on. Very much so. I Game of loans. Isn't that yes, true? Yes, the Game of Loans. I love <laughs> that one. Game of Loans. And of That's course, we're going to uh, post all of these pictures yes. on our KGT Facebook and Twitter pages so that uh, if you want to, you can take a look at all of the creativity maybe of our graduates. Maybe we still have high school graduations <laughs> next week, so maybe we'll get some ideas on what you could do with yours. All right, now, uh, speaking of high school, we're going to talk about a really cool program that's available for local high schoolers. Brian Miller, the principal at the ROC program, also known as the Regional Occupation Center, is joining us this morning. Good morning, morning. to you, sir. Morning. Morning. Thanks, Thanks for, for joining us. Thanks for having me. Let's talk about ROC and sure. what it's all about because this is an incredible uh, program, an opportunity for thousands of school, uh, students across the Corona High School District to take a part of. Uh, tell us a little bit about what it is. Sure, sure. So we're, we're the career education school for the district. And so juniors and seniors can come to us for half their school day and start to explore careers. And so we have uh, next year we'll have 34 different career paths available um, where they'll come and, and get training. We have, a, we have a video production program, 3D animation. Uh, auto shop, uh, a lot of medical programs, uh, so a pretty wide variety. And, uh, you know, they get started on learning the technical skills, the career readiness skills, and really get started on that pathway so that when they leave us, they're ready for uh, 
to continue on that pathway in post-secondary education or some of them are even ready for entry-level employment. And that's the thing, about 65% I think of students end up going into college, but right. that leaves a lot of others who maybe that's not the path for them, but there are a lot of other amazing careers out there and you can get them started and get a really good head start through this program. Right, right. And so that's one of the things that we really focus on is, is letting them know, okay, if you want to pursue this career, here's the type of education and training that you're going to need after you leave us, or here's what jobs are available right after you graduate high school. I've talked to a lot of uh, students who've gone through the ROC program, and every one of them that I've talked to says that they just love being able to put the, the skills that they learned in the classroom to, to test into action. For the students who are uh, currently in high school and are not part of ROC, how can they go about uh, finding out more information and getting involved? Yeah, so we, we've really got a, a pretty um, expansive website, and that's really the go-to spot. So ROC.KernHigh.org. Uh, they can go on there. They can look at all the different program opportunities. They can see what kinds of things they're going to learn, what types of certifications. And that's really the registration portal as well. Um, so they can go on there and start signing up for classes. We do have some openings still left um, for next year. And then we also have a brand new evening program that we're rolling out in, in August um, that we just, just got some funding for a couple weeks ago. So they can go on right now. And that's really intended for students that can't fit that three-hour block of time during the regular school day. Uh, so they can come out there at nights and take the same program in, in the evening time. Talk to us a little bit about the community partnerships um, with different industries around here in Kern County and how those work. Yeah, it, it's a, an incredibly important part of what we do. Uh, we partner, We have, so just to give you an example, um, internships is a big piece for us. So about 40% of our students do a 12-week internship during the second semester. Uh, this year we had over 400 students out there in the community working at over 200 businesses uh, for half their school day, which is just an incredible, you know, you can learn it in the classroom, but when you go and do it, we're doing it with the people like you all that are on doing it um, side by side with them. Um, that's really where that true learning takes place. You know, so many uh, opportunities there at ROC, and you're constantly expanding, it yep. seems like. Every time I'm out there, I see a new building pop up. I almost yes. Feel like, so. Yeah, so yeah, we're actually yeah. building a second campus right next to Independence High School in Southwest Bakersfield uh, called CTEC, Career Technical uh -huh. Education Center. And uh, that's a year away from opening. And, you know, it's just, it's exciting because uh, more opportunities for students in the community. Absolutely. Uh, we've, we'll, we'll have tripled our size uh, wow. from three years ago uh, and be able to serve, you know, about 2,500 students during the regular school day. So, all right, exciting. Well, check out them out on online on their website. We'll post all the information right. on our website, KGET.com. Brian Miller, thanks right. for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. All right, thank Good you. Good to both. have you in. All right. And of course, college grads are not the only ones that are walking across the stage. That's right, and when we come back on this special edition of 17 News at Sunrise, we'll be talking more about the thousands of Kern County high schoolers who will be walking across the stage next week. Many of them wanting to know what's next. We'll explain how attending a four-year university isn't the only option. Decades of respecting your trust. Taking the lead on the sports scene. Following the money trail. More investigations, getting answers. Don't let weather spoil your travels. In the spirit of the Golden Empire. 17 News. Important conversation, open discussion about difficult topics. Kern County In Depth with Jim Scott, Saturdays at 6. 17 News. Hurry to the Ford Memorial Day Celathon with 0% for 72 months plus 2000 on the Fusion. That's right, the Fusion Gas Hybrid or Plug-in, all with 0% for 6 years plus 2000 total factory cash. Don't miss it. Hi everybody, St. Dominguez here from Oasis Air and Solar. We're your home performance specialist. That includes air conditioning, insulation, hot water heaters, and even solar. The system that Oasis put together for us included allergy filtration. It has been life-changing for us. We cannot see any of the exterior conduit. It's just a very clean, nice job. They took care of my home like it was their own. Let Oasis make your home an Oasis. Give us a call at 322 <gasps> Get comfy and start living the good life with Star Furniture. We're slashing prices store-wide. For a limited time only, take advantage of 25% off everything in stock. Plus, get free local delivery. We carry the most trusted brands like Flex Steel, Pulaski, Hooker, and more. 
choose from over three football fields of inventory, including sofas, mattresses, bedroom sets, dining room sets. At Star Furniture, our prices are always unbeatable. Come in today and see what you've been missing. Freeway 99 and Rosedale Highway. It's the Ford Memorial Day Celadon, our biggest Celadon of the year. Get paid to trade with 6,000 trade assist cash on top of your trade in. So if your trade in is worth 5,000, you'll get a total 11,000 toward an Edge SEL. Don't miss it. 17 Sunrise at the CSUB graduation is brought to you by KGET in partnership with Bakersfield City School District. Appliance is up to 40% off now through Memorial Day at Earners. With once a year store-wide savings. Like this Whirlpool refrigerator, only $15.99. Or just $14.99 for this Samsung laundry pair. Plus 18 months, 0% financing and free same-day delivery. As Kern County's appliance leader, your satisfaction is guaranteed. So don't miss the sale and the savings through Monday at Earners. Always trusted, always Bakersfield, White Lane and Weibel, or online at earners.com. Welcome back to the special edition of 17 News at Sunrise. Today is all about education and graduation. And Kern County High Schoolers now have a really exciting opportunity to get a jump start on their college education. Bakersfield College has teamed up with several Kern County High School districts to offer dual and concurrent enrollment. The classes are different from the typical college prep and advanced placement or AP classes as they're often known. The program allows students to apply to BC as special admit students and take classes without paying tuition fees. That way they earn both high school and college credit at the same time. These are courses that the students come to the college and participate in. They're taught um, by our faculty, our instructors. They're on any one of Bakersfield College's campuses. Yeah, and we also offer several of these classes at the high schools, um, so students can take them after school. There is one key difference between the programs. Dual enrollment happens during regular school hours at the high schools, while students participating in the concurrent enrollment program usually take classes at BC campuses. Both programs also have online learning opportunities. BC says the number of high schoolers enrolled in the programs varies from semester to semester, though usually about 500 students participate. Really cool opportunity. It's a really great opportunity yeah. for a lot of our local students. You know, And a lot of high school students are about to walk uh, across the stage and receive their high school diploma, and many either junior or seniors in high school are still wondering what's next and community college is an option for many people of course bakersville college offers 31 degrees that are transferable to other colleges and university to universities nationwide which includes guaranteed admission into a csu campus and a partnership with the uc system earning a transfer degree is an option for those who didn't qualify for universities right out of high school and they're looking for a fresh start or they're in need of accessibility and flexibility each unit costs 46 dollars and many students have uh, the opportunity to finish their first two years of college without having to pay tuition. So when we're looking at affordability, virtually a student who'll qualify for financial aid, which is over 80% of all of our students, will complete their freshman and sophomore years free of charge. Marquez says the number one, the number of students transferring continues to increase each year. This year, more than 1,300 students are transferring from Bakersfield College to other colleges and universities across the country. It's, really such, an ex, it's such a great resource here locally. You Absolutely. can almost cut your college loans in half by doing the first two years at a community college. I mean, you can save so much money. You can still get the degree from the university you want to go to and a degree from you know our local community college which is a fantastic institution so we're really lucky to have that uh, opportunity here locally. so many great educational opportunities for uh, all students of uh, any age range really Absolutely. to take advantage of so it's true all right well coming up this morning on sunrise this very special edition of 17 news at sunrise president lynette zelesny is joining us as she's getting ready for her first commencement ceremony here at cal state university it's got to be a very exciting day for her celebrating her first graduation here with this largest graduating class in university history. Dr. Zlesny will join us coming up this morning to talk about this milestone for both her and the university. These aren't
are no ordinary Carl's Jr. fries because these fries have the iconic flavor of the Western Bacon Cheeseburger. The new Western fries only at Carl's Jr. It's time to Western. This is the Durabit of the all-new Chevy Silverado. That is huge. It offers a built-in 120-volt outlet. Wow. Plug that in for me. Oh, holy oh, smoke. Oh, wow. And the all-new Silverado has more trim levels than any other pickup. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. There's something for all of us. It's time to upgrade. Get 0% financing for 72 months on this all-new Silverado, or get a total value of over $9,000 when you finance with GM Financial. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. These are no ordinary Carl's Jr. fries, because these fries have the iconic flavor of the Western Bacon Cheeseburger. The new Western fries only at Carl's Jr. It's time to Western. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire, you're watching 17 News at Sunrise. Bill Wright Toyota celebrates Memorial Day with a huge used car sales event. Find the perfect car at the perfect price during our biggest sale of the year. Get an O2 Mitsubishi Lancer for only $28.95 or an O2 Toyota Camry for just $3,900. How about a 2010 Legacy for only $48.95 or a 2010 Corolla for just $6,900? Even a 2010 Camry for $8,900. You'll find it all starting at 9 a.m. on Friday at Bill Wright Toyota. Doing it right for 49 years and still doing it right. Toyota. Let's go play. Do you know who your child communicates with online? Your child's online activity could provide easy access. Including their location to potentially dangerous online predators. It's important for parents to be aware and to take action now. That's why Grapevine MSP Technology Services and KGET have teamed up to make protecting children online a priority. KGET has launched a CyberSafe program to help protect your children from online dangers. Go to KGET.com and click on CyberSafe. Commencement Day forecast. It's beautiful yeah. out here. Oh, it's beautiful. We've got some cloud cover, which is actually a good thing. People are going to be sitting out here, and there's nothing uh, more that they don't want than to have that sun beating True. down right. on them. So the clouds are perfect out here this morning. Grab a light jacket if you're going to be heading out. We're in the 50s right now, 57 degrees in Bakersfield. Uh, we've got a light wind just out of the uh, north northwest at six miles per hour. And as we take a look at the overall temperatures around the area, you can see 50s uh, in the valley and into the mountains. We've got 40s to lower 50s out in Mojave. You're currently at 45. And as we take a look at this satellite and radar for the region, not a lot happening. Things will continue to clear out today. There may be a slight chance of a thunderstorm into the Kern River Valley. We'll be watching for that. And then as we take a look at temperatures around the state, 78 in Sacramento, 78 as well in Fresno, and then upper 60s, lower 70s down to the south into LA and San Diego. We are going to look for another change though uh, tomorrow. I do expect the rain to arrive into Kern County probably after 11 a.m. and then sticking around through early Monday morning. Very little change in our jet stream pattern. As you can see here, no major ridges of high pressure building on in to really give us that big time warm up. So we're going to kind of keep this pattern in place for a little while here. And you can see on our future cast model for the rain showers as we go throughout the next few days. Uh, Sunday is looking a little wet. And then as we head into the early part of next week, uh, things will start to uh, clear out once again. And we'll be looking at those temperatures to warm around the area as well. So it's just uh, to, into uh, tomorrow afternoon, Sunday, and into early Monday that we'll have to watch for some shower activity. Today, look for skies to clear out this afternoon. 79 in Bakersfield, 76 in Taft, 75 in Maricopa, the, and then overnight, I do expect uh, the clouds to increase once again. So a very short window. 63 in Fraser Park today, Tehachapi at 64, 70s into the Kern River Valley, Lake is about 71, and then for the desert, we'll look for sunny conditions this afternoon and east wind 10 to 15 and 73 in Mojave. Here's your extended forecast. Tomorrow, increasing clouds and a chance of rain. And then uh, Sunday, we may even see a thunderstorm. Showers linger into Monday, and then next Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we will clear it out again and warm it us up. And by Thursday, you're at 87 for the mountains. Uh, pretty active weekend ahead for us. Temperatures uh, will cool down. But then next week, we clear things out for you as well. And by Wednesday, Thursday, back into the 70s. And then for the Kern River Valley, looks like uh, kind of a wet weekend ahead into the early holiday Monday and then clearing you out by Tuesday. But today is what really counts yes. for all these graduates. We've got some clouds, but overall, I think it's going to be a great commencement. Uh, great forecast yes. for everyone.
going out here. All right, thanks, Kat. All right, well, still ahead this morning on this special edition of 17 News at Sunrise. It's not something we typically typically consider as being a school cost. Yeah, Tabitha Mills introduces us to a student who used his own experience with food insecurity to help fellow runners. That story coming up after the break. Is everything all right? Alex left her cello in my car. Hello? We're getting kicked out of the room. We're going to have to call you back. We're back. Moving on to page 40. The seven-passenger Infiniti QX60. We don't have any issues with the planning committee. Either. Luxury should be lifted. Let's move on to the next page. Lease the Infiniti QX60 for $399 a month or finance at 2.4% APR for 60 months. Visit your local Infiniti retailer. Through Memorial Day is the time to save on mattresses at all Earners Z's Please Sleep Centers. Up to $800 savings on America's best, like Tempur-Pedic, Sealy, and Beautyrest. And 25% off all bedding accessories with any mattress purchase. Get up to 60 months, 0% financing, 100-night trial, plus free same-day delivery. So don't miss the sale and the savings through Monday at all Earners Z's Please Sleep Center locations or online at zsplease.com. I believe you get what you pay for. I believe that keeping up with current market trends will help my clients. I believe in being a solution. I believe home ownership is still the American dream. I believe the best interests of my clients will always come first. I believe in treating every client with courtesy and respect. If you believe in these, then Prestige Properties Team Tipton are the agents for you. Open your eyes. The world has changed. It is a very big news day. Our top story. The stories that move us. These folks are remaining Beauregard strong. There's no route there. Oh, my Lord. Welcome to all the possibilities today can bring. Welcome back. It is just before 6 a.m. and we are out here at CSUB ahead of this morning's commencement ceremony. And for many students, you know, there's the cost of classes, books, and there's a lot more. But there's one cost that many of us don't think about. Yeah, a lot of students um, in reality struggle to afford groceries. And Tabitha Mills is joining us this morning to introduce us to a student who used his experience with food insecurity to help others in his place. Yeah, that's right. Good morning, Maddie Good morning. and Alex. Keith Alvidrez is going to walk across the stage this afternoon. Afternoon. That's a proud accomplishment for him, but maybe even more of a proud accomplishment, if you will, than the diploma or the GPA has to do with his heart. Take a look. Personally, as a student, I know the struggle. While attending CSUB, Keith Alvidrez struggled to balance classes with work in order to eat. There was a study that CSUB did in 2013 about food insecurities, and it kind of made me, you know, reevaluate my own status, which I am somewhat food insecure. Working towards his master's in public administration, Alvidrez hopes to find answers to social issues in our community. Issues such as hunger. That stress of where to get food if they cannot afford it. CSUV opened a food pantry in the fall of 2017 to help eliminate that stress. Alvidrez signed up immediately to work in the pantry. I decided to see if I could do anything to help. Using his experience. So it's more of like a spark of passion of knowing that I do fit the status as a user as a food pantry. To help his fellow students succeed. 
right now, Vidras is currently completing an internship with Era Energy, and afterwards, he hopes to find a job in our community and community exciting. development. And it would be great. He has a lot of of knowledge and passion behind him. That's so. the cool thing, you yeah. know. Look, we have great graduates, great students. Let's keep them here if we can. Exactly. So. A great guy. Thanks so much, Tab. All right. Well, still to come this morning on Sunrise, teachers and administrators are not the only ones that make schools run. That's right. Dozens of other people are helping to teach our students life lessons. We'll have a shout out to those unsung heroes of education next. This Memorial Day, experience accurate performance in the ultra-responsive TLX. Hurry in for a test drive today. Visit your local Acura dealer for attractive offers on the TLX. Get comfy and start living the good life with Star Furniture. We're slashing prices store-wide. For a limited time only, take advantage of 25% off everything in stock. Plus, get free local delivery. We carry the most trusted brands like Flex Steel, Pulaski, Hooker, and more. Choose from over three football fields of inventory, including sofas, mattresses, bedroom sets, dining room sets. At Star Furniture, our prices are always unbeatable. Come in today and see what you've been missing. Freeway 99 and Rosedale Highway. Nothing says summer like a beach trip. So let's promote our summer travel deal on choicehotels.com like this. Surf shop. Earn a $50 gift card when you stay just twice this summer. Or bought a book, bought a boom. Book now at choicehotels.com. For over 50 years, Cracker Barrel has been cooking homestyle favorites to perfection. We thought we'd celebrate that tradition with new, crispy, juicy southern fried chicken. Bring it on home in our 12-piece picnic box with all the fixins. New southern fried chicken, now at Cracker Barrel. To all who are graduating this month, we say congratulations. Of course, nothing really says you earned it like a premium steak and gorgeous lobster tail. So if someone asks where you'd like to celebrate this fine occasion, it's easy. You tell them you want Sizzler. This Memorial Day, experience accurate performance in the ultra-responsive TLX. Hurry in for a test drive today. Visit your local Acura dealer for attractive offers on the TLX. Celebrating the accomplishments of our local students. Preparing for the next chapter in life. This is a special edition of 17 News at Sunrise, live from the campus of Cal State Bakersfield. Good morning and welcome to this very special edition of 17 News at Sunrise as Cal State Bakersfield commencement is about to begin in just about an hour. I'm Maddie Jansen alongside Alex Fisher and Kevin Charette. Really quickly, we just wanted to give a thank you to United Rentals Power and HVAC on Rosedale Highway for helping us with yes. our set out here um, and make this broadcast all possible. Of course, we want to thank Cal State Bakersfield for working with us and all of the behind the scenes people here that you can't see, the engineers and stuff from KGET for being out here early and making this work. So. And of course, it is just a beautiful day out here. I mean, I really don't think you could ask for better weather. No, uh, no rain expected, even though you look at the clouds and you're yeah. like, oh, are we going to see some kinda rain? It's kind of nice, though. It's kind of nice. You know, you don't have the sun beating down at all, the guests. And I'll tell you, there's a lot of them in here, bright and early. So I think this is going to be perfect weather for commencement here at Cal State today. And right now, you can see on the satellite and radar, we still have some of those clouds. You look up to the north, we're already starting to see a little bit of clearing out there. But here in the Bakersfield area, you're still seeing a little bit of the uh, cloud cover. As we take a look at our future CAS model wanted to point out one thing here. We may see an isolated thunderstorm pop up near the Kern River Valley this afternoon, so we'll be watching for that. But it'll be uh, just a, a minor pop. As we take a look at the temperature right now, 59 degrees in Bakersfield. And as we take a look at the overall forecast today, expect a warm up. We're going to be uh, right near 77 by 3. Into the mountains, some cloud cover to start, 45 degrees. The winds are calm up your way, though. And as we take a look at the overall day here, starting out a little uh, cool, but then afternoon highs will be back into the 60s, mostly sunny and a northwest wind at 3, right around 6. So overall, a nice day around Kern County. Again, we've got a chance of rain heading back into our area as we head into tomorrow, but not for today. We'll talk more about that changing forecast that's coming your way in just a little bit. 
All right. Thanks so much, Kevin. Yep. It is a beautiful morning out here. It is. It absolutely is. We're so lucky. And joining us this morning, Dr. Lynette Zalesny. She is joining us to talk about her very first commencement here at CHB as president. Good morning. Good morning. It's absolutely wonderful to be with you. What an exciting day. Thanks uh, for joining us. Absolutely. Of course. Thanks it is for having a us. very exciting day. So you are approaching your first year here at CHB completion, of course. How does it feel being here at this time? I'm absolutely bursting with pride. Our graduates today have true grit and we will be shaking hands with about 2,300 students today. That's a record number of graduates that from CSUB. All-time high in history. That is amazing. What kind of hopes do you have for this class? What do you want to, what is one message you want to send them away with? This is with? a class that is full of great work ethic and they have great character and I'm sending them out to serve our region and I have such great pride in them. And of course, this is uh, a, a very somber uh, graduation as well, because today you are going to be pausing today to remember Demi Dominguez, who passed away just weeks ago. Tell us a little bit about um, how the community here at CSUB has been dealing with that tragedy ahead of today's ceremony. Well, thanks for asking. And we certainly have her family in our hearts today, but we are family here at CSUB. And that's one of the things that you'll hear me emphasize in my, my words of encouragement to our graduates is that we're all one, we're all family, and we celebrate the good times, and we're also with each other in those sad times. Absolutely. Um, it's such a community feeling here at CSUB. Um, what do you see in the future for CSUB? Well, as you know, we are growing in our distinction and in our enrollment. And next year, I expect a record number of students coming in. We've had a record number of applicants. So this says to me that this is becoming a destination campus for our community. And academics and athletics are really rising together. So very excited about our bright future. And of course, I was out here at your, uh, you had a very special ceremony a couple of weeks ago Indeed. out here with, during the investiture. And one of the things that was really neat being out here, of course, was the emphasis on local. Bakersfield, of course. What do you want our community out there to know about this campus, even if there are no ties? We're a very special campus. We're a metropolitan campus serving one of the fastest growing counties in California. Very, very proud of the region that we serve, and that is our mission. All right. Well, fantastic. Thanks for being with us today um, here at this beautiful, wonderful uh, commencement ceremony, and good luck. As Thank you, you get up on stage today. Thanks for celebrating with us. A great day. Oh, it, it is a great day. It's right. a great day Thank to you, celebrate. Thank you, Dr. Selesny. All right, and of course, if you are planning on coming to this morning's ceremony, or if you're going to be driving around the campus of CSUB, be prepared for some traffic delays or closures. Bakersfield police are assisting with traffic control at several intersections near the campus, and Stockdale Highway will stay open, though, in both directions, uh, but you just need to expect some delays just because of course, you can imagine so many people are coming on campus here today. And drivers should be prepared for a closure on Camino Media between Hagen Oaks and Scarlet Oaks Boulevard until graduation is over and graduation, the, the ceremony, could go on for several hours. Overflow event parking will be available in the north parking lot of Edward Cinema. And of course, there is a lot of information here, and we've posted all of it on our website, kget.com. We all know that it takes a village to run a school. Custodians, secretaries, groundskeepers, and bus drivers, and that's just to name a few. And as we wrap up this school year, we wanted to highlight some of the unsung heroes of education. They may not be in the classroom, but they are teaching our students life lessons. Take a look. I come to work every day with an attitude of doing something positive with these kids. Daisy is uh, one of those people that you wish you could clone her because she just really has this way about be being able to connect with kids. She works with some of our most difficult students in the district. I love this area. I am from Rich Grove and Delano as well. Um, but, you know, some of our kids need help. I've been working for the school district 29 years. I get to see the students grow. I've also coached wrestling, other sports, so I got to see so many students grow up. Now they are now teachers, so that's the rewarding part. As they say, like custodians and secretaries are the most important people of a campus. You know, it really takes the village to help create, you know, the environment we have, and I think we've created an amazing one this year. And the secretaries themselves, I mean, they, they greet the parents. They're the first line, um, the first face of the school. They're the nurse, they're the mom, they're the counselor, too. Henry is a great example of support staff, and um, 
He gives his 110% every day for the students of Golden Valley. Really, even just the small little things of just taking up a piece of paper and having the kids see that. Or saying, you know, a kid will drop a piece of paper and, you know, I'll say, oh, don't worry about it, I'll get it. And just to get their wheels thinking and that, you know what, it matters. You know, it really does matter. And so, yeah, I just, it's just, you know what, it's, that's the way I was raised. The students are on my bus are, they're my kids. She's always sweet and always kind and always just brightens up your day. Just some of the conversations I've had with students having a bad day that uh, stay on my bus and need to talk and that they feel safe enough to do so with me, that really stands out to me. If a student comes in and uh, a student is in need of clothes, Mrs. Rubio takes them under her wing and suddenly, mysteriously, that student has clothes to wear. I can understand that they want and they need, sometimes they need and they're not able to have. She just has a golden heart and um, just wants to make students feel loved and worthy. But at the same time, letting them know how important education is for them. I think most people look at, look at what we're doing in here and think it's just a job and we don't care. And maybe they don't think we make a difference because we don't see the kids all day long. But most of the people here do care. And I think we do make a difference. Everyone you just saw there deserved their own story. They really were that incredible, including the people I didn't have time to profile but really wanted to include, and my very own mother-in-law, Sandy Jansen, who has been school secretary at Kendrick Elementary School for about 24 years since I went to school there. And so I just want to say thank you to Sandy, to all of those who work kind of behind the scenes in education. They really make a big difference in our students' lives. Yeah, and of course, I got to give a shout out to my mom, of course, uh, Cindy Fisher. and She's got uh, her team player, uh, Vicki Parsons, who's actually retiring this year after several years in the front office dealing with parents, students, administrators, everyone. So, yeah. uh, of course, we have to say thank you to all uh, uh, all the people who uh, make schools happen. Absolutely. You know? All right. Well, still to come this morning on Sunrise, Associated Student President uh, Ashley Schmidt is getting ready to walk across the stage with her fellow students. That's right. And she'll join us here on set to reflect on her time at CSUB. Aching, the stabbing, the shooting pain. Don't suffer another day or miss another good night's sleep due to your back pain. Can't see your regular doctor? First Choice Urgent Care is here for you and can see you today. First Choice Urgent Care, Panama Lane and Ash Road. Man, that's a cool looking hot tub. <laughs> we should check on the baby. He's so sweet. Maybe too sweet? <laughs> Internet's down. Your home is only as smart as your internet. Get reliable AT&T fiber and get speeds up to 300 megabits per second and direct TV. Bundle for $75 a month for 12 months. Limited availability may not be in your area. More for your thing. That's our thing. Call 1-800-CALL-ATT. For over 50 years, Cracker Barrel has been cooking homestyle favorites to perfection. We thought we'd celebrate that tradition with new, crispy, juicy southern fried chicken. Bring it on home in our 12-piece picnic box with all the fixins. New southern fried chicken, now at Cracker Barrel. Want a relaxing pedicure? Relaxing pedicure? My feet get so dry and cracked, I need serious relief. That's why I use O'Keeffe's for healthy feet. Guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked feet. Thanks to O'Keeffe's, I got my feet back. Technology should be simple. Simple to connect with. Easy to talk to. Hey, BMW, where can I park? And a joy to drive. Don't be driven by technology, drive it. The all-new BMW 3 Series. Hurry in to lease a 2019 BMW 330i sedan for $3.99 per month. The coughing, the aching, the sneezing. Not sure if you have a cold or the flu? Don't self-diagnose. Can't see your regular doctor? First Choice Urgent Care is here for you and can see you today. First Choice Urgent Care, Panama Lane and Ash Road. 
17 Sunrise at the CSUB graduation is brought to you by KGET in partnership with Bakersfield City School District. It's a Memorial Day sales celebration, and we're celebrating with great lease options at Bakersfield Mazda. Lease our most popular vehicle, a 2019 CX-5 Sport, for as low as $249 per month. That's $249 per month. Or as a dancer more your style, you'll love the Mazda 3 Sport for a low $239 per month. You heard right, only $239 per month. Celebrate your Memorial Weekend by joining the happy family of Mazda owners at Bakersfield Mazda. to the special edition of 17 News at Sunrise, live from Commencement how, out at CSUB. Yeah, we're having a great time out here this morning. There's still so much more to come as people start to file in. And uh, But first, we're going to send it back to the 17 News studios where Olivia Lavoie has a look at your top stories this morning. Good morning, Olivia. Good morning, Alex. Well, this morning, firefighters continue to battle a grass fire near Lost Hills. It sparked just before 5 last night after a car caught on fire on the I-5 near Highway 46. This is a rural area, but Kern County firefighters did evacuate four homeless encampments. At least 80 firefighters and a helicopter are fighting the flames. But windy conditions are making things tough for crews. So far, the fire has scorched at least 450 acres and is 60% contained. We're expecting an update from firefighters around 8 o'clock this morning. You can download the 17 News app to get news and weather alerts sent straight to your phone. Now this weekend is Memorial Day, a time to pause and remember those who made the ultimate sacrifice. There are several events honoring our heroes this weekend. The 6th annual Thousand Flags event at the park at Riverwalk kicks off on Saturday morning. Volunteers will begin setting up the flags around 7 a.m. tomorrow and the display opens at noon tomorrow with the National Anthem and Color Guard. Flag raising ceremonies will happen Sunday and Monday morning at 8 o'clock. Also happening on Monday, a patriotic fair with vendors, bands, and fun activities. We're going to send it back now to Alex and Maddie who are live at CSUB. All right, thanks so much, Olivia. Still ahead this morning on Sunrise, Kevin's going to take a look at what the weather's going to be like here at commencement. It's feeling kind of beachy out here. It is. It's feeling great, though, so we'll have a look at your forecast coming up after this. <laughs> portion of 17 News is brought to you by Motor City Lexus of Bakersfield, who invites you to test drive a Lexus today. Let me have them. DDIY. DDIY? Don't do it yourself. <sighs> Big brand tire and service. Big means go. Ready for summer? Nissan is. You can't miss out during the Summer of SUV sales event. All you need is a great camera. The right tunes. And a change of scenery. Save on it all at Nissan's Summer of SUV sales event. Get 0.9% financing plus $1,500 cash rebate for total possible finance savings of $46.29 on Rogue. Did you know that Big Brand Tire and Service offers Valvoline oil changes? Well, you do now. You're welcome. Big Brand Tire and Service. Big means go. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire, you're watching 17 News at Sunrise. Well, I don't know, but I've been told It'll come back if you let it go Open your heart, open your mind The world's gonna turn and the sun's gonna shine Everybody give a little Everybody give a little bit of love 17 Sunrise at the CSUB graduation is brought to you by KGET in partnership with Bakersfield City School District. Hi, I'm Patrick Beck. It's the final days of our Memorial Day sales event. Come in today and save big. 
drive off in a 2019 Elantra for just $209 a month. Lease a 2019 Kona for just $229 a month. Or get 0% financing for 72 months. Plus, military personnel and first responders can get up to $2,000 bonus cash in addition to these Memorial Day savings. These great deals absolutely end Memorial Day Monday night. The name to remember, Bakersfield Hyundai, Bakersfield Hyundai. A thousand year month. Welcome back. We are just about an hour away from the start of commencement, and I almost feel like I'm at Pismo Beach yeah. or something. <laughs> it really feels like that. It's going to be great for commencement, and CSUB, or Kevin, I should say, is joining us with the CSUB band who's going to be playing later this morning. Kev? There's a lot of people involved to make all this happen. And one of the areas that I'm at right now is this symphonic band here at CSUB. They have been rehearsing the, the last 10 to 15 minutes, getting ready for commencement. And they're going to play for us in just a little bit here. But it is a beautiful morning here at Cal State Bakersfield. We've got some cloud cover out here, which is nice. Better than having the sun beating down on all these guests. And I'll tell you, they were lined up at 415. And it is going to be a packed house here for one of the largest graduations classes here at Cal State and I think everybody's gonna be very happy with the forecast temperatures this morning running into the 50s we're at 59 degrees right now in Bakersfield we've got 56 in Wasco and then into the mountains uh, currently we've got 45 out of Tehachapi uh, as we take a look at the satellite and radar not a lot happening except some cloud cover that is still hanging around our area right now uh, in terms of rain that is pushed off to these we may see a thunderstorm develop into the Kern River Valley this afternoon with some residual moisture we will be watching for that. Temperatures around the state today uh, into the 70s for Sacramento and Fresno, even 70 degrees down to Los Angeles, so a little bit of a warm up here. But change is coming. This window uh, is very short in terms of the dry weather. I expect the rain to arrive tomorrow morning, probably after 11, hanging around through early um, on Monday morning before we see more sunshine and warmer temperatures by about Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week. And you can see the overall pattern here. Uh, there's very little change. I don't see a very strong ridge of high pressure that will bring, let's say, triple digits our way anytime soon. And you can see here on the Futurecast model that uh, we keep kind of these showers around. Uh, one system after the other has been impacting the state of California. So very unique May for sure. And if we can pick up right around 807 inch, we'll be in the top five wettest uh, Mays on record. Temperatures today, though, will be uh, fairly nice. We're going to warm things up. 79 in Bakersfield. We're looking at 76 in Taft, 78 in Porterville, and then for the mountains in the Kern River Valley. Today, we'll start to clear things out and look at 63 in Fraser Park, 64 in Dahatchby, with those 70s into the Kern River Valley. And then for the desert, look for some sunny skies here and a high today of 73 in Mojave. Here's your extended forecast, and you can see the chance of rain heading into tomorrow, a chance of a thunderstorm on Sunday. Monday, a few lingering showers in the morning, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we clear it out and warm it up by Thursday, 87 for the mountains. Same thing for the weekend in terms of the showers, and then clearing you out by Tuesday. By Wednesday, Thursday, you're in the 70s. And then for the uh, Kern River Valley forecast, you can see here a little bit wet heading in to our weekend. Again, back out here live at Cal State, Dr. Leo Sakamoto is the Director of Visual Studies here at Cal State. This is his symphonic band right behind me. They've been working very hard, getting ready for commencement. I wanted to let them play a little bit for us this morning. Uh, Dr. Sakamoto, I'll let you take it away. Bakersfield. All right, well, still to come this morning on Sunrise, a lot of people who are about to go to college or thinking about college are asking the big question, how will I afford it? That's right, and what can you do now to start preparing? Coming up after the break, we'll talk with Dave Anderson from Money Wise about your options.
17 News Sunrise interview is brought to you by Kern Schools Federal Credit Union. Together, we have something special. For years, Kern Schools Federal Credit Union has been the local choice to meet your financial needs. And just because we're local, you can still take us wherever your travels or life may be. That's right. From online and digital banking to mobile check deposit, Kern Schools is always a tap away. And did you know banking at Kern Schools gives you access to over 30,000 ATMs nationwide? More than any big national bank can offer. Download the Co-op ATM Locator app to find an ATM near you. See, we're local, but we're local everywhere. Kern Schools. Together, we have something special. A volatile daughter. My life is at risk because she will kill me. I don't know where you came up with that. But will mom listen? You're doing all the talking, so you must have all the answers. To Dr. Phil's advice. I just want to make sure you're aware of what's going on. I saw the videos. I saw her attacking people in the hotel. She went off like this, Doc. I'm going to die, not you, because you're going to be in Las Vegas while she's home killing me. All new Dr. Phil. Weekdays at 3, only on TV 17. It's the Memorial Day sales event. Get ready to move to Motor City. We are professional grade, and right now get 0% financing on your choice. Sierra HD, GMC Canyon, or Sierra Half Ton Crew Cab. Available with the Multi Pro Tailgate. California's number one volume Buick GMC dealer. Welcome to the city, Motor City. Tile. Extraordinary selection at factory direct prices. for this special edition of 17 News at Sunrise. We're talking all things education today, including how to pay for it. Yeah, it's of course, it's a question that a lot of people fret over uh, in trying to find the answers to that. And for a lot of these graduates, you know, they're going to be faced with how do I pay for all those loans? And this morning, Dave Anderson with MoneyWise is here to kind of give us some relief, some answers and some guidance to a lot of those questions. Good morning, thanks for joining us. Good morning, thanks for having me. Uh, does this a question a lot of people come to you with? Yeah, yeah, especially around this time. You know, the, the, a lot of times you know, you've taken out loans mm -hmm. and you forget about them because sure. you don't have to make payments until after you graduate. And so now people are like reminded, okay, now I've got to pay for this schooling yeah. that I just got. So what's your best advice then for them? So my best advice is really be aware of what's about to come. So if you've taken out loans generally six months after you stop going to school, whether you've dropped out or whether you graduate, hopefully it's graduation, you have to start making payments. Figure out what those payments are because you do have some control over how high the payments are. And so if the payments are too high, you're going to want to look at maybe changing the payment plan, okay. talk to your service provider. But really the key is being aware and engaged in, in that process. Absolutely. Factor that in yeah. to yeah. what's next. All right, let's talk. Oh, well, I know a lot of people are, you know, wondering, you know, when is it, uh, when is it time to start saving for college? When is that kind of that sweet spot? Yeah. It's the earliest you can. So let's say you're a young couple and you don't even have kids yet. Start saving Before now. Kids. If you plan on having kids. Wow. Right. And a lot of times people look at the end cost of college mm -hmm. and go, oh my gosh, I we can't save can't that. We don't there. have any money. Right. Start saving your pennies, your dollars. They will all add up. And remember, most parents don't need to come up with 100% of mm -hmm. the bill. There are other options. There are scholarships. So every penny you save, the earlier you start, the better you're going to be. Where do you want to save those pennies? What are the options? <laughs> yeah, so if, if you want to direct them specifically toward education, I would look at something like a 529 plan. Okay. It's like a retirement plan. There are some tax benefits, but they're specifically for college. A parent can set that up and make a child a beneficiary. If that child ultimately de decides to not go to college, they can change the beneficiaries and use the money for someone else. 
but from a tax perspective, it's really effective, and then it gives you a system to make consistent payments. All right, and coming up later this morning, of course, we'll talk with Chad Morris, who works with the financial aid here at CSUB, to talk about some options for people who are currently considering college, uh, especially for those seniors. So yeah. that's still to come. All right, yeah. Dave Anderson with Money Wise. Thanks so much for joining us. Always love Thank your tips. You. We you appreciate bet. it. Thank you. All right, well, still to come this morning in this very special edition of 17 News at Sunrise. School is letting out for the summer. A lot of kids getting out next week, and many parents are scrambling to keep their kids busy. There are a lot of options, and Kern County teachers are sharing some ways that you can do that. Make sure students don't lose all of that learning that they just gained this past school year. That's next. Getting to the heart of the story. Stories that need to be told. Kern County politics. People making a difference. The weather today and what we can expect tomorrow. Celebrating the Golden Empire. Inspired by LA's famous street corn, the El Pollo Loco Street Corn Tostada is here. Sweet summer corn, queso fresco, and our famous pollo make for a soul-satisfying flavor with a hit of chili and lime. El Pollo Loco, feed the flame. Hi, I'm Scott Rivera. Home prices in Bakersfield have gone up considerably. Now could be the perfect time to sell using my 4.5% home selling program. With it, you'll receive unparalleled exposure, expert advice, and proven results, all at friends and family pricing. Think of it as getting the best for less. You can now maximize your sales price and save money too. Scott Rivera Real Estate. Higher standards, lower commission, better results. Call 589-2222. The Greater Bakersfield New Car Dealer Association has partnered with Safe One Credit Union, offering rates as low as 2.99% for qualified buyers and members of Safe One. All residents of Kern County can become members, and nearly every vehicle make is available. 2015 and newer are eligible for this great offer. Find your next car, truck, or SUV at participating dealers and get financing as low as 2.99% through Safe One Credit Union. It's that easy. At El Pollo Loco, our number one ingredient is time. 55 minutes of fire-grilled love that goes into every piece of pollo. Take home the $20 Familia dinner, 10 pieces of pollo, two large sides, and house-made salsas. El Pollo Loco, feed the flame. accomplishments of our local students, preparing for the next chapter in life. This is a special edition of 17 News at Sunrise, live from the campus of Cal State Bakersfield. It is bottom of the hour, and of course, we are getting ready for the CSUB commencement ceremony here that is set to take place in just about an hour. Good morning, everyone. I'm Alex Fisher, alongside Maddie Jansen and Kevin Charette. And we want to give a special thank you once again to CSUB, who helped make this possible. We're so glad we got to be out here today. And we also want to thank United Rentals Power and HVAC on Rosedale Highway for helping make our set possible. Yes. And of course, everyone who's behind the scenes, um, go to our social media. We'll yes. be posting um, later on today about how this all happens. It's a lot of work, yeah. and we are so grateful for all of our technical crew. Right now, you see only three people on uh, camera right now. Yeah. There's a lot more behind them. <laughs> and all we're responsible for is talking. Uh, these yes. guys behind the they scenes have, have just done an incredible job making sure all the technical issues are taken care of. So we'll definitely be taking the pictures so that we can give them all the recognition they deserve. And it is a beautiful morning it's out really here. It's so nice out here. You couldn't ask for a better morning. No. You don't have the uh, bright sun shining down on you. There's a little bit of a coolness in the air. So perfect for all these graduates today. And and I think it's going to be perfect as they start at 7 a.m. It'll be about two hours of the commencement, and we'll probably start to see some clearing about that time. But you can see on the satellite and radar, some of those clouds are sticking around. And one thing to note here on our future cast model is we may see an isolated thunderstorm develop this afternoon uh, up near the Kern River Valley. You can see the models are suggesting that just a little bit. As we take a look at your temperature right now, definitely grab a jacket if you're going to be heading outside. We're at 59 degrees. 
degrees right now, and there is a little bit of a breeze uh, just out of the north northeast at seven. And as we take a look at the overall day, I expect a warm up. We will be in the 70s today, again with some clearing skies, 77 by three. And then for the mountains, you've got some cloud covered there this morning as well. You are a little chilly with the 40s currently, but no winds up in the Tehachapi area. We will see a little bit of a breeze pick up throughout the afternoon, and I expect temperatures to, to be into the 60s. So overall, a pretty nice day. Change is coming back into the forecast, guys, as we head into tomorrow. Yes, another round of rain is headed our way. I'll have much more on that coming up in a bit. Well, so I don't we're know in the how sweet we got spot so lucky, right though. Yeah, with yeah. the sweet spot. Yeah. <laughs> so lucky. All right, thanks so much, Kev. Well, it was a first for CSU being a big night for dozens of students. The first class of doctoral graduates joined hundreds of master candidates on the soccer field Wednesday night for the graduate hooding ceremony. One of those doctoral grads was Lorraine Rosma, who says this is her fifth degree and she's proud to be part of the inaugural doctoral class. When I started at CSCB, I was a transfer student in 2010, transferring in for my bachelor's. And when I started that part of my journey, I did not ever anticipate completing the journey here at CSUB. I thought I'd have to go to a different university. I thought I'd have to go to one of the UCs, a private school. And to find out that, you know, we made this opportunity happen here, that CSUB made this happen for their students and then for us is absolutely amazing. CSUB bring a doctoral program to Kern County where you don't have a lot of resources. We hope it really makes a difference in our area. 12 doctoral students and 462 graduate students will earn their degrees today, not to mention the 1,708 undergraduate students who will walk across that stage behind us here later this morning. And joining us this morning is Ashley Schmidt. She is the CSUB Associated Students Incorporated President. And of course, as you can tell, she is getting ready to walk across the stage. Good morning, Ashley. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thanks Congratulations. For Okay, let's first talk about uh, everything that you have yeah. on you right what now. What is all Quite of the this? the accomplishments. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, so these are all just uh, some honors cords and stoles, uh, as well as the ASI stole and study abroad and a bunch of other recognitions. Oh my God. And can we see your hat real quick? Cool? Of course. Oh yeah, look at this. Yeah, Adventure so awaits. We'll have to get a picture of we'll that. We'll get a picture for our you, collection. of course. Thank you. And as ASI president, tell us a little bit about what your job is here at CSUB. So ASI ASI is our tagline in students working for students. We are a board of directors, about 25 of us, in, that are voted on uh, and elected to serve the students. We advocate for the students at the local, state, and federal level. Uh, we also, if a student has any issues on campus and just needs help navigating the system, we're here to help them. And it's just, it's a wonderful job, and I've had a wonderful time being in it for three and a half years. What's your best pitch uh, for students out there thinking about coming to CSUB and also about being involved in student government? Definitely do it. My best pitch is you you learn so much about who you are as an individual by getting uh, putting yourself out there and getting involved in different organizations, whether it's a whether it's club, organization, Greek life, or student government. It's something that is very important that I highly recommend anyone to try when they come to university. You know, at the end of the day, you know, right now you are a student at the end of the day, <laughs> you will become part of the alumni here at CSUB. Yes. As you reflect on your time here at uh, CSUB, what are some of the, the, the big stories or the big highlights for you? So since I have been in ASI for three and a half years, uh, some of the most important highlights to me, of course, is establishing the food pantry. Um, and then this year we've established a lobby corps. A lobby corps has been absolutely wonderful. They uh, help advocate for uh, our students, our 11,000 students that we have here on campus for our local and federal legislators in order to make sure that the 11,000 voices that are on our campus are heard. All right, now Ashley doesn't actually give a speech here during the ceremony today because it's such a long uh, ceremony. <laughs> yes. There's a lot of students who have to get up and hear their names read, but you do have a message for students that's going to be in the program. Yes, it is. And, and what is that going to kind of encompass? It pretty much just encompasses a congratulations to all of their hard work, um, all of those long nights of just trying to navigate uh, your major, your classes, and when you're feeling 
down and you weren't sure what you were going to do or if you weren't sure um, if you could make it, this is where it comes down to. You've made it and it's something to be proud of and that I, can't, I think that every single person that is here at CSUB will make a difference somehow in the world and I can't wait to see what happens. Next up for you? I'm going to be going to uh, University of California, San Diego wow. to okay. get a Master's in International Affairs with a Korea Regional Specialization. All right. Well, Good thank you so you much for coming, uh, coming on our set. First, yes. okay? <laughs> All right. Well, thanks so much for coming thank on you. this morning. And uh, again, congratulations. Thank you. And to you and all of your accomplishments. Thank Thanks you. Thanks so much, Ashley. All right. Well, coming up in our next half hour here in the special edition of 17 News at Sunrise, we'll be talking more about what to do with your kids over the summer. Kern County teachers share ways you can keep your kids occupied and their minds working during the summer break. That's coming up after this. Time to get a great deal on a new Toyota. And then go out and do all the fun things the season has to offer. Get a low 19 APR for 60 months or 2500 cash back on a new Prius Prime. Toyota, let's go places. Change can happen when you choose it. You can choose treatment and change your addiction to opioids. Medication Assisted Treatment, or MAT, is a proven treatment for opioid addiction that significantly reduces the rate of relapse. Learn more at choosemat.org and choose Change California. Watch the 2019 Beautiful Bakersfield Awards live June 1st on KGET.com and KGET's Facebook page. The live webcast is brought to you by Strata Credit Union and Dignity Health Mercy and Memorial Hospitals. Hello, human kindness. Sun powered by Sun Solar. Hi, Jeff Pereira here, and we want to thank you, Kern County, for voting us 2019's best solar company. To show you our gratitude, we're extending our Meet Neat promotion. Right now, when you get a quote from one of our solar educators, you'll receive a $75 gift certificate to one of these Bakersfield favorites. Meet with us and see how much we can save you. Plus, enjoy a $75 meal on us. That's right. Get your $75 gift card today. Call 1 800 Solar Power. Summer's here. Time to get a great deal on a new Toyota. And then go out and do all the fun things the season has to offer. Now get 3,000 cash back on a new Sienna or choose zero APR for 60 months. Toyota, let's go places. 17 Sunrise at the CSUB graduation is brought to you by KGET in partnership with Bakersfield City School District. North Bakersfield Toyota's 50% off sale is back and happening this Memorial Day weekend. 14 Sentra, 50% off, only 34.18. 11 Corolla, 40% off, only 44.06. 08 Hyundai, 30% off, only 43.66. And 09 Scion, 20% off, only 53.57. With up to 50% off and over 100 cars to choose from, this is a sale you don't want to miss. North Bakersfield Toyota, Freeway 99 and 7 Standard. We're back here at 640 from the special edition of 17 News at Sunrise live at Cal State University Bakersfield. Yeah, and it's, I'm going to say it, it's warmed up a little bit since we first came out here. That might just be because the wind has died down a little yeah, bit. Well, so. it always cools down a little yeah. bit once the sun comes up and then we start the little bit of a warm up. But I'll tell you, it is a sea of people out here. It They've is. got their seats. They are ready to go. And they were out here. Again, when we arrived right around 4.15, they were already lined up in the parking lot. And can we just say that whoever has got, uh, whoever's the DJ this morning here at CSU is it. doing a phenomenal <laughs> job. I'm actually surprised you haven't caught Maddie and I dancing in between the breaks. Yeah, and our crew <laughs> behind the scenes, they've been uh, dancing to oh, the beats yes. as well. So an exciting time here at Cal State, and the weather couldn't be any better. No rain, we've got some cloud cover, and temperatures, I would say, are in the mild to a little cool. Everybody's got a light jacket. That's all it's really needed. Uh, right now, 59 degrees in Bakersfield. And we do have that light breeze just down to the north-northeast at 7 miles per hour. Um, and we will see just a light breeze as we go throughout the day. And you can see temperatures right now are running into the 50s uh, around the valley and then into the mountains, 40s, 50s, and Mojave. Currently at 45. Ridgecrest here at 51. Satellite and radar showing you some of these clouds that still are, uh, remain here uh, into the Kern County area. But we're starting to see the sun trying to peak on through as well. The 
system we've been tracking is moving further and further to the east, but another one is uh, right on its heels and is going to arrive as we head into tomorrow morning. Temperatures around the state today will be in the 60s and 70s. 64 out of Morro Bay, San Francisco at 67, and Fresno at 78. As we take a look at the uh, overall Pacific, and it doesn't look like there's a lot happening, but there is a low that is developing just to the north of us that's going to slide in as we head into tomorrow into Sunday, bringing us a chance of rain. And I expect that rain to uh, kind of hang on through early Monday. You can see here on our current jet stream pattern, just very little change from out west into the mid portion of the U.S. So it's one system after the other that continues to impact our weather. Here's a look at our future cast model, and you can see the uh, chance of showers that do roll in as we head into tomorrow into our Sunday. This is Sunday at 5 a.m., and you can see it approaching out of the north, and then it will slide on in, and then we'll start to see a drying out period as we uh, head into Monday afternoon into Tuesday, Wednesday. Then I expect uh, that warm-up to uh, make its way back into our area with more sunshine in the forecast. So there is something to look forward forward to. As we take a look uh, at uh, temperatures today, though, we again are going to be a little bit warmer than what we have been. 79 in Bakersfield, 76 in Taft with Maricopa at 75. And then for the mountains in the Kern River Valley, dealing with a little bit of cloud cover this morning as well. But you should be able to see more sunshine this afternoon. East wind 10 to 15. 63 in Fraser Park, 64 in Tehachapi. For the Kern River Valley, we're looking at the 70s today. 71 Lake Isabella. Kernville, you'll be right near 70. 72. And then for the desert, expect sunny skies and east wind 10 to 15. 73 in Mojave today, a little bit warmer out of Ridgecrest, where we'll be right at 77. Your extended forecast, you can see the chance of rain moving in tomorrow. Even a slight chance of a thunderstorm on Sunday. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we'll clear it out. And by Thursday, we're going to be pushing near 90 degrees. As we take a look at the mountain forecast, kind of an active weekend for you as well. But then we'll clear things out next week, and 70s will return by Wednesday and Thursday. And then the the Kern River Valley forecast. Chance of showers for the weekend as well. And then next week, clearing out and uh, by Thursday, we'll be right near 80. So, a very small window in terms of one system to the next, but you couldn't ask for a better day for that break. And that's for our Cal State graduation. Oh, absolutely. 80, 90 degrees sounds pretty nice. Oh, well, yeah. right now it does. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Well, uh, still to come this morning on Sunrise, of course, a lot of people are asking, how can you pay for college? So after this, we will speak with a CSUB financial aid expert on some of the resources that you can use before starting college. More people are switching to RAM than ever before. Because Ram gives you more towing, more luxury. And we've got the most awarded truck in America, so you can get on to bigger things. The all-new Ram 1500. Hurry into the Ram Memorial Day sales event. Get 0% financing for 72 months on 2018 Ram 1500 or 2019 Ram 1500 Classic models. Or while qualified returning lessees, get a low mileage lease on Ram 1500 for 269 a month. When I got into teaching, it was this idea of really transforming our schools. One of my biggest responsibilities as a teacher is to serve as an advocate for my kids. Hundreds of teachers and hitting the picket line. Thousands gathered here. We need smaller class sizes. More counselors and more nurses. We have to be able to invest in our young people. Every student has a right to quality education. No matter what neighborhood you live in. Our students don't have part-time needs, so they can't have part-time solutions. Because we know quality public schools make a better California for all of us. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire, you're watching 17 News at Sunrise. There's our world-famous on-road attraction, the 2019 GLC. 
Lease the GLC 300 SUV for just $4.79 a month at your local Mercedes-Benz dealer. Mercedes-Benz, the best or nothing. University Bakersfield ahead of commencement. And joining us this morning is Chad Morris. He's the director of financial aid here at Cal State Bakersfield. Here to talk more about kind of that process that a lot of people I think have a little bit of nerves over and then of course that is the cost of tuition. Good morning, Chad. Thanks morning, for joining Alex. us. Yep. So a, a big question is uh, for those maybe juniors and seniors at home right now, those who are starting to think about what college to apply to, what are some options for them as they start to, uh, to, to figure out maybe what's in their budget? Sure. Well, don't, don't fret too much. Um, there are a lot of resources out there for students. Uh, just for example, here at CSUB, we awarded out almost $110 million to our students, 70 million of which was in the form of grants and scholarships. So free aid, money they don't have to repay. And about 90% of our students um, receive some type of financial aid. So nine out of every 10 students you'll see walk across the, the stage there today will have received some type of aid. As far as some of the, the things that students can do, um, there's the College Scorecard website by the Department of Education that has really valuable information on there, like uh, what the co average cost of school is. You can look up almost any school on there. So as kids are trying to figure out where they want to go, the, the costs are on there, the average amount of financial aid is on there and even what students uh, can expect to make when they graduate from that school. Oh, that's an important that's, number yes, to consider absolutely. when you're thinking about how much yeah. you're going to pay for college. You want to think, okay, what am I getting out of it in exactly. the end? Let's talk about those numbers because they're they're sure. pretty scary. There are some scary numbers out there as far as how much does college cost. Tuition here at CSUB, what are you looking at? Yeah, it's right around $7,000 for tuition and fees. Really super affordable. Absolutely. I mean, anyone that's looked at, uh, we, CSUB consistently gets ranked as one of the best right. bang for the buck. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, even compared to the community college, very affordable. You know, if you compare it up to private schools, even a better value. Astoundingly so. Absolutely. Yes, yeah. Absolutely. And, of course, we'll put all that information on our website, kget.com, especially that college scoreboard uh, resource. Scorecard. Scorecard that you yep. talked about earlier, because I think that is a, a fascinating resource yep. for especially a lot of high school students right now. Absolutely, yeah. And in addition to that, you can go on every school, generally through their financial aid office, will put their cost of attendance on their website. And this breaks down the costs of tuition fees, room and board, transportation, books and supplies, kind of a standard cost that every school puts on there so that, again, you can kind of compare and see what see what to expect when you're when you're a student looking right. to see where you want to go. Right. Best advice right now for a high school or high schoolers out there if you have a high schooler. Really, really think about the educational experience that you want. You know, again, there's the community college experience. You're living at home. Um, you know, if you want to go away, live at a live at a, a campus and live in the dorms. Each kind of has its its costs associated with it. Pl just plan ahead. Get the applications filled out. The FAFSA application, California Dream Act application, scholarship applications. Get those done by the deadline. That's the most important because that's when really the limited funds are allocated to students who get it done by those by those deadlines. Do it early. Yes, absolutely. Plan ahead. All right, Chad Morris, the director of financial aid here at CSUB. Thanks so much for coming on right. this morning. Appreciate right. it. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. All right, and one more reminder. If you are attending graduation here today or if you're going to be driving in the area, I know a lot of people are going to be heading out the door here pretty soon. So we just want to remind you to leave yourself extra time to get where you need to be. Bakersfield Police will be assisting with traffic control at several intersections near the campus. Stockdale Highway will stay open in both directions, but you should expect some delays in the area. And drivers should also be prepared for a closure on Camino Media between Hagen Oaks and Scarlet Oaks Boulevard until the graduation ceremony is over, and that could go for several hours. Overflow event parking will be available in the north parking lot of Edward Cinema. And, of course, we've posted all the details on our website, kget.com, because there's a lot of closures yeah. and, and, and information that you need to know. So, uh, And, of course, uh, we just had a map up there of, to uh, for just for planning purposes, of it's course. It's a busy day out here. And, you know, it, school is wrapping up here at CSUB. School's going to wrap up next week for most of our local schools. Summer vacation just ahead. Parents may be wondering what to do with their students and also wanting to make sure 
sure they don't lose all of that learning from the year. 17th Mary Kate Paquette sat down with some local teachers who also happen to be parents <laughs> of some of our Sunrise crew here to find out what parents can do to help their students stay sharp as a pencil over summer break. The biggest piece of advice? Stay busy and keep your kids' minds working. Angela Paquette, Mary Kate's mom and a sixth grade teacher at Castle Elementary, suggests programs like Khan Academy. It's an online resource which offers practice exercises and instructional videos for a range of sus subjects. Some teachers say the most challenging demographic to keep minds motivated is high schoolers. Tabitha's dad, Donald Mills, teaches at Arvin High School. He suggests having daily conversations with your kids to keep them engaged. And my dad, Ryan Fisher, a seventh grade teacher at Roseville Middle School, says doing anything you can to keep your kids learning during the summer months is beneficial. Go to the store and just get them involved with um, maybe trying to estimate or do rounding in the store as you're getting products and stuff. A lot of kids don't know what the price of gas is or a gallon of milk. Just get them familiar with that and you know basic things that we use every day. And of course, we've posted more advice from these teachers about how you can keep your kids active, uh, the kids' minds active, rather, this summer on our website, kget.com. Because as we know, summer break, several weeks of some kids getting a little too bored, just a few activities, even if it's like the start of your day or sometime in the afternoon, 30 minutes, an hour uh, throughout the day, just those little things go a long way for kids. Yeah, you know, my husband's a teacher too, and we, we kind of take the approach of making sure our kids not necessarily are sitting down doing a workbook or you know right. we love to make sure that they're reading every day but keeping their minds active exploring um, taking them to calm taking them on trips to um, state parks that sort of thing keeping their minds active in different ways finding ways to keep them you know excited and maybe finding new things that they're interested in it doesn't have to be sitting down at a table um, doing worksheets which they are going right. to see as you know oh more work you know there are lots of ways to keep it exciting there are lots of local summer camps um, we talked earlier with the Kern County Library and they have a lot of programs there um, more than just books a lot more than books and a lot of those programs are free, so check them out. We're going to post that segment um, and information on our website, kget.com, later. I think it's also important, too, for, you know, parents to, to talk to their kids throughout the day and, and, and ask them, you know, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? And just engage them in those conversations, which I think can go a very long way as well. Absolutely. All right, well, when we come back here on this special edition of 17 News at Sunrise, we're taking a walk down memory lane. Yeah, we're going to uh, share some of our pictures of from when we graduated several years ago. That's after the break. This Memorial Day, experience accurate performance in the ultra-responsive TLX. Hurry in for a test drive today. Visit your local Acura dealer for attractive offers on the TLX. Toyota celebrates Memorial Day with a huge used car sales event. Find the perfect car at the perfect price during our biggest sale of the year. Get an O2 Mitsubishi Lancer for only $28.95 or an O2 Toyota Camry for just $3,900. How about a 2010 Legacy for only $48.95 or a 2010 Corolla for just $6,900? Even a 2010 Camry for $8,900. You'll find it all starting at 9 a.m. on Friday at Bill Wright Toyota. Doing it right for 49 years and still doing it right. Toyota. Let's go places. We are on this earth for a reason. As the leader in heart and stroke care in Kern County, we provide fast, caring, expert treatment and get you back to the people who love you. Adventist Health Bakersfield, together, inspired. This Memorial Day, experience accurate performance in the ultra-responsive TLX. Hurry in for a test drive today. Visit your local Acura dealer for attractive offers on the TLX. Before you open your eyes, the world has changed. It is a very big news day, our top story. The stories that move us. These folks are remaining Beauregard strong. There's no growth there, oh my lord. Welcome to all the possibilities today can bring. On June 8th, join DeWars for the 2019 Tiger Fight Casino Night at the Padre Hotel. Enjoy games, food, music, and auctions. Proceeds benefit the Tiger Fight Foundation and the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. For more information, go to tigerfight.org. 
Getting to the heart of the story. Stories that need to be told. Kern County politics. People making a difference. The weather today and what we can expect tomorrow. Celebrating the Golden Empire. Welcome back, and of course, all week long, we have been asking you to send us a picture of your decorated grad caps, and boy, did we get a lot of amazing caps. <laughs> <Some great ones. laughs> so That's let's take a look at a few. Yeah, here's a look at just some of those. People get so creative. They have quotes on there. They do pictures, decorations, um, and we've loved seeing everybody's so far. And, you know, there are a lot more graduations to come with all of the high school graduations next week. So, hey, maybe you'll get a good idea of what you'd like to do. And we've seen some really funny quotes, including Game of Loans. Game Wasn't of that Loans. One? I think <laughs> Game of really, Loans, which I thought was really pretty funny. Really accurate. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> of course, it's really neat to see because every year you see uh, them get more elaborate. Yeah. This Superhero ones are, are amazing. I'm not even that skilled to draw a smiley yeah, face. Yeah, you saw that little Hulk smash Spider one, yeah. right? Yeah, that was cute. Yeah. And of course, if you're out here uh, today at graduation, you'll be able to see a lot of the uh, grads that are sitting out here, and they will have, uh, you know, their caps decorated as well. So it's kind of neat to see from behind, because then you just see all these stories. Yeah, cool. I was not that creative. I didn't even know that that was a thing to graduate uh, to uh, decorate your cap. Didn't do it I graduated. Really new over the last few years. I yeah, maybe so, it is. Yeah. I did it. Mine. <laughs> Mine actually said my future begins, and then I put today with the Today Show logo. Oh, of course. Oh, love it. Of course she is Working today. Here in DC, so. Love that. <laughs> you know, dreams come true, Thank right? Thank you. Okay, <laughs> and of course. This is close enough to Today Show, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Of course, we wanted to take down a little, uh, go down memory lane a little bit and show you some of our graduation photos. And of course, we're showing our crew's graduation photos, uh, even people behind the scenes. So take a look um, at some of these photos. You know, it's just so weird to think about back to our own graduation days and kind of seems like a long time ago. It is, and for some not so long ago, Mickey Van Horn, our Sunrise photographer, uh, graduated last year from CSUB. That was me right there from oh, um, scary. Chapman That's University scary back in right 2007. <laughs> Kevin Charette, like Alex Fisher. Right now. And there's, so of course, great. our producer as well. So uh, we just wanted to share. Cal Vega. We just wanted to share with you some of our pictures uh, uh, of right our there. graduation days um, in years past. It, it's such an exciting time because it is a huge accomplishment. Um, the end of an amazing chapter, but the beginning of another really Absolutely. exciting chapter. Absolutely. Every, every year it's so fun to watch all of the graduations. I know I have several family members graduating kind of on all levels this year, and so it's always fun to go to those grad parties and see them. It is. And, of course, graduation ceremony here at CSUB is going to be starting very soon, about 7.30. And if you're headed into the area, expect some delays. All right. Thanks for joining us for this special edition of 17 News at Sunrise. Have a great Friday.